Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 17th day of August 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Atmex so we can check out those spot prices. However, before that, I'm going to welcome you over to Good Morning to You with Tiny Numismatics. That's number 208. That's going to be at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. Now, hope to see you there. Looks like gold is down $2.80 to 1782.30. Silver also down 17 cents to 20, 30, or 20, 23. Platinum also down $3.70 to 948.60. And palladium is flat. Look at that. 21.85 even, Stephen. Haven't seen that before. Now let's head over here to the United States Mint. A little bit of stuff happened yesterday. And if you were at the live mint drop yesterday, you, well, you probably know what's going on. Now we had the Rolls and Banks with the Nino Terra Warren drop yesterday and the United States Air Force one ounce silver medal. And if you did not pick these up, well, you're not the only, well, actually, the PD and the S-Rolls, right? Because those were gone in mere seconds, maybe two seconds, maybe one and a half seconds, I don't know, maybe microseconds, not sure what the heck happened there, but it sure seemed like bots took over and ruled the day because, meant, um, you know, it didn't check to see if we were human, it didn't um, have the order history removed, um, none of that characteristic behavior was evident yesterday, just like the drop four the Wilma Mankiller quarters. So I thought that was kind of a miss at the United States Mint. And what's, I think, you know, I had three enrollments and um, the day before, I think on Sunday, um, we had talked on the show how people had five enrollments and four enrollments, but they got capped to three. Now, isn't it interesting how the Mint took away those particular products from people on their enrollments, people that did the due diligence, did their homework, and said, you know what, we're going to give these out to the general public only to have them got got by a bot. I mean, I, that is just, oh. And you know what's interesting about this is, is that that three-roll set was gone in a mere second or two. Then the two-roll set, the 100-coin bag, and the other 100-coin bag, P and D, they were there for, you know, at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. But clearly it was the PDNS. And, you know, I, I, are any humans that fast? I don't know. I mean, that was over a thousand ready and available. But anyway, moving on, I hope that the uh, Mint really, you know, for the anime Wong, you know, and hey, look, okay, on, and on top of that, if, if if there is a representative of the Mint there or listening, yeah, next time you cap enrollments, how about cap the household order limit at like one? Because it doesn't seem very fair to the people who got enrollments and then to have it released on the general public that day and to have no limit. It just seems like, well... I don't know, it just it doesn't doesn't fit. It doesn't have continuity. It doesn't have consistency in the thinking and theory and strategy, okay? So let's move on to the next item that dropped yesterday. This is the US Air Force, one ounce silver medal. No mintage limit, no product limit, none, no household order limit. And it was about 12,000 available yesterday. And well, guess what? They were unavailable yesterday. And I'm not sure which time, I think it was later on in the afternoon, um, maybe uh, dinner time, East Coast, and bam, no more left. Are you surprised, folks? Let me know in the comments down below if you think this was actually a surprise or not a big surprise. Now, let's get to the next item here. I want to talk about this one. This one's really got my attention. This is the American Liberty 2022 silver medal. A lot of people don't like it, I would imagine, because it's not a, it's not a coin. It doesn't have a denomination, but let's face it, it is a beautiful, beautiful medal. Beautiful design, no doubt about it. It does have the mint mark right there, Philadelphia, and it does have a date, and that design is remarkable. Now, there's that eyeball on the other side that's kind of intense. Definitely makes you go, whoa, hey, uh, but that right there, that's what it's about. That is gorgeous and it's absolutely remarkable and this will be coming out tomorrow afternoon at noon eastern time and there's a mintage limit and a product limit of seventy-five thousand. now if you go over here view page source it is forty one thousand two hundred and thirty nine and they were at about forty thousand and then they added about a thousand or so will they hit this seventy five thousand they could easily hit that seventy five thousand but it looks like they're covering up to about forty one right now now are you guys interested in this are you not interested in this um, and look at this clamshell. And if they can put a clamshell like this together and they can't for the American Silver Eagles, well, look at the number here and look at the number of Silver Eagles. I would imagine that the cost of the clamshells for 75000 would be a whole lot different than half a million or three quarters of a million clamshells. But yeah, there it is. Um, and you could probably repurpose this as a mousetrap. They're probably amazingly uh, strong. Look at that COA. That is just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful design. Um, and it'd be really cool if the Mint would really sell some kind of a display other than the clamshell. That would be really cool. 
Um, and I've already, you know, talked about the, you know, compositions, three nines, fine silver, one full Troy ounce, and they do mention Troy, and has the 1.598 inches diameter. There it is. Man, that's beauty. And it comes out tomorrow afternoon. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention, and then this is something that I've been following. It's bullion sales at the West Point Mint. There's been some speculation um, due to a video that a uh, content creator made suggesting that a mint representative or buyer or somebody had mentioned that the U.S. Point Mint was going to be shutting down. Well, I think these particular bullion sales for um, August and July may lend a little bit of credibility to that because they do look like they're winding down. There we go. All righty, I've highlighted here. Now, these are the coins, the one ounce, the half ounce, the quarter ounce, the tenth ounce, and then the total gold sales. And I'm not really paying attention to the silver here this morning. All right, here we go. Now, I think I've got July here and August here. Now, as far as the coins for August, here we are halfway through, maybe just a little bit past halfway through August. And here's the complete sales for July 2022, okay? So, in order for us to be at July numbers, we should probably be at 30,000, I would imagine. But we're at about 45 here, okay? And I don't need to look at that one. So, look at this, though. Half ounce. So, in order for us to be at July numbers, okay, and July numbers aren't that strong, folks. 25, 3,000, 3,500, 15, 25, 22,000. I mean, they've dropped off a cliff here. And if they do double the sales in August, because there's another two weeks left, that's going to be a thousand half ounce coins for a grand total of 2,000 ounces sold. I mean, this is just incredible. So let's go back to July. 59.5, 2,500, when before it was 3,000. And this coming month of August doesn't even look like it's going to hit these totals unless something drastic happens. And look at this. July was 5,000 number of coins for the half ounce, okay, and 1,000 for this month. So that should be at least 2,500 now. Look at this. This is the quarter ounce, all right? Now, it looks like we're already matching the quarter ounce numbers. But look at this. The quarter ounce number for July, 500, 500 for August, but it's 4,500 here for June, 2,000 for May, April, 3,500, March, 5,000, February, 1,000, and January, 16,000. Clearly, these numbers are tapering off drastically. And how much further will the Mint keep production going at the West Point Mint if these numbers keep dropping like this? I mean, this is just incredible. Now, let's get to that 10,000. Now, we have 1,500 coins already produced for August, or sold, rather. 2,000 total for July. Look at this, 13,500, 5,000, 2,500, 7,500, 2,500, and 19,500. But the real telltale sign here, folks, is this. This is number of coins sold, 45,000, and number of ounces sold, 29,500. Now, we should be here at, if we double this, that'll put us at 60, and this will put us at 90. Well, that's 90, and this is 60. So we are looking like we are going to be less than last month totals. All right, for ounces, but possibly more for the coins, depending upon these tenth ounces here and the quarter ounces here. That's going to be incredible. Incredible. Now, here's an opportunity for anybody who is interested in working at the CCAC. Those are the folks that do the, um, well, they recommend designs for the uh, Mint Treasury, the Mint U.S. Mint, oh boy, I can't even speak, for the Treasury Secretary to approve and I got to show you this. So if you're interested, come check this out. And that's the Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee, the CCAC. All right. And this is by uh, Paul Gilks. And it was published the 15th. That was just two days ago. Mint seeks applicants to fill CCAC openings. Now, U.S. Mint is soliciting nominations for two positions whose occupants for your terms are expiring on the 11th of on the 11 member citizens coinage advisory committee notices are posted online at the federal register.gov members of the ccac recommend proposed coin and metal designs to the treasury secretary for final approval the panel also considers proposed themes for u.s commemorative coins the four-year terms of mary lannan representing the interests of the general public and of sculptor robin r salmon you know what? i'm just going to pronounce the l and salmon because nothing else makes sense anymore qualified to serve because of her experience in the metallic arts or sculpture are expiring so their terms are over treasury secretary janet yellen has the authority to reappoint members whose terms are expiring and those whose terms are expiring may continue to serve an additional six months beyond the expiration of their four-year term if necessary now deadlines are set the deadline to email submissions 
for the general public, that's you and I, um, representative is no later than 5 p.m. Eastern Time, September 2, and for the specialist in medallic arts or sculpture is no later than 5 p.m. Eastern Time on September 5th. Any member of the public wishing to be considered for an appointment to the CCA should submit a resume and a cover letter designating the position you are interested in and describing your qualifications for membership by email to info at ccac.gov. Attention, Jennifer Warren Lannan, a journalist and coin collector, was first nominated to the CCAC in 2014 by the House, by the then House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. Lannan was reappointed in 2018. Salmon, appointed to the CCAC in 2018, is Vice President of Art and Historical Collections and Curator of Sculpture at Brook Green Gardens in South Carolina. The term of Samuel H. Gill, a truck transportation, logistics, and technology expert who has had his own successful consulting firm for over 20 years and was appointed in 2018 to serve the interests of the general public is also expiring in 2022. The U.S. Mint is also currently sifting through previously submitted applications for the position on the CCAC currently occupied by Dr. Jean Kotlowski, a 2018 nominee specially qualified in American history. There it is. So there's your big opportunity, folks. Let the uh, and I'll leave the um, the link for this particular article if you're interested in emailing the CCAC about a position. Now let's get over here to ninety five point nine K O I N Coin News Radio. This is Stone Temple Pilots Interstate Love Song, and it's got the high quality HD sound, full body sound. You know you love it. Now over here, be kind, treat people right, for we don't know who's lost in the darkness looking for hope in the form of light. Happy Wednesday. Yes, indeed. Happy Wednesday. And, uh, well, my wife is really mad at the fact I have no sense of direction, so I packed up all my stuff and write. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're in, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker.